Hey guys, Andy here from Service Your Body. Today I just want to talk to you about shoulder pain, specifically rotator cuff pain. Um, a rotator cuff injury can come about either through a slip trip or a fall, or through training, through a load issue, um, where you maybe increase the load of an exercise too much, or you've maybe got a bit of a mobility issue and you're, you're just catching the rotator cuff when you're doing your overhead press or something to that effect. Um, how do you know you have a rotator cuff injury? Normally, the, the movements such as abduction, which is that guy there, you'll feel a kind of a catching, and generally the pain is around just kind of just there as opposed to up into the neck and shoulder. Another one would be through flexion or external rotation or maybe if you're going to put your coat on or something like that. So they're the kind of general movements um, that will tell you if you've got a rotator cuff problem. Um, as I said, pain is normally experienced here radiating down into the arm more so than, than anything else. If you have pain up around here, it may be your neck. So, some simple early stage exercises that I give my clients to come to us here is what we call isometric exercises. So that's whereby we're gonna repeat the movement that causes you most of the pain, but we're gonna do it whereby the muscle contracts but doesn't lengthen or shorten. So that's what isometric is. So, with a, you get a wall. So for example, if your external rotation gives you more pain, well then all you're going to do is place the back of your hand against the wall and you're just going to push into the wall like as if you're doing the external rotation exercise but obviously the wall is preventing it okay from moving so your shoulders tuck back nice and easy and you can use a little bit of pain you're, you're allowed to have pain during the exercise it just shouldn't get worse or be prolonged after the exercise we would also recommend you do about 10, 10 reps holding it for three to five seconds and you do three sets of that twice a day, okay? And as it's getting stronger, you can push a little bit harder, okay? If it's a, a flexion that's causing the pain, well then obviously we put our hand to the wall and we push through into the wall. I'll show you my left, push through into the wall, like as if you're doing this, but obviously it's the isometric element of the exercise, so we're preventing it from moving. And then the same with, uh, with the abduction, which is out to the side. So we're gonna push through. Again, the wall is present, preventing the arm from moving, so it's creating, getting the muscles to contract, but not lengthen or shorten. And really, you will continue those over a number of weeks until you feel that that exercise is plateauing and the pain is, is resolving, but maybe you need to load it up a little bit more. And we'll do another video on that shortly as to how you can progress into uh, isotonic exercises. So if you have any questions, give us a shout or check us out on our webpage, www.serviceyourbody.ie. Thank you very much.